Hi, Taurus. This is Lucky with Lucky Seven Tarot. Thank you guys so much for tuning into my channel. This is your June 2022 general reading for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Remember, these are general messages, so not every message will resonate with you. If it does, great. If it doesn't, please check your Moon and your Rising sign videos for a more complete message or feel free to get a personal reading. My website is lucky 7 and that link will be listed in the description box below. Remember, these are general, so they can resonate in the reverse. I may be explaining it as if it's going on in your love life, but it may be your career and finances, your family, your friendships, anything of that nature. Let's go ahead and get started and see what generally is coming up for you guys. Taurus for June. I know it's a little late, guys, but better late than never. All right, so... For some reason, Taurus, I am seeing a lot of Piscean energy. I saw that in the pre-shuffle. So um, you have the card of intuition. Some of you guys could be making up with a Pisces. Some of you are letting go of some sort of stubborn issue, trusting yourself more. All right, let's see. All right, there might be someone here that you are in separation from, you're walking away from, they may be doing this with you. I feel like there's some sort of risk involved here. Starting, a, like having a new beginning, all right? You're starting to see things for what they really are. For some of you, you could be, I feel like you're clearing the air with someone or you may be recognizing for some of you that somebody is a true friend to you or... You may have a true friend coming in, someone that is um, honest with you, all right? You have the card of travel. Hmm, some of you may be looking into traveling. There could even be a relationship for you coming up for some of you singles where uh, you may be traveling with this person or you may meet this person while you're traveling. Um, some of you may be planning a trip with your friends. All right, you have the card of happiness. Some of you guys are happy about a separation or there's a separation that you're gaining clarity about that's bringing in some sort of happiness here. You have rest. All right. I feel like there is something here that maybe you've been feeling stuck about. You've been, it's, it's been on your mind. We're going to see. I'm going to try to clarify these real quick, some of them. Tell me about this intuition. Yeah, a lot of you guys are leveling up. You know, you're trusting yourself more. It's been a lot of hard work for you to trust yourself, to come to some sort of ending here. There might be an unanticipated separation. All right. Some of you guys, you've been in separation from someone and maybe you're not anticipating this person coming back around. I don't feel like if you're single that it's going to be for long. I feel like for some of you, if you are single now, there may be a relationship coming in. If you have been on the rocks with someone, I feel like you're not going to be alone for long or you're not going to feel alone for long. All right. Yeah, you guys are going through a transformation. Some of you is with the Scorpio. All right. I feel like there's a sexual chemistry with somebody here that could be coming in or in your life. Strong sexual chemistry. I definitely see cycles in your life ending and you sort of moving on. Mm, I, okay. Yeah, you guys are moving on from some sort of painful situation. Hurt could even be a third party. I feel like you're going towards happiness here. That's what the changes seem to be. There was something that was painful for you, all right? It left its mark on you, and maybe you had to kind of sit down and take a rest. And now, you know, you're being catapulted forward. You're recognizing something has to end. Something is, you know, is ending in your life. But there's this evolution, this transformation, I feel like, uh, like you guys are going through. Let's see what the tarot has to say. What's coming up for... I almost called you Sagittarius. Maybe some of you guys are dealing with Sagittarius or you have Sagittarius in your chart. What's coming up for Taurus? I know I'm reading for Taurus. All right. So you have the Eight of Cups. This is in, an indication to me that some of you guys are finally walking away from a situation. Maybe you felt beaten up by it. You know, you, you've been trying to like fight through this. Okay. You have the Hanged Man. I feel like you've been feeling stuck 
because of a relationship or within a relationship. For some of you, this is just you holding yourself back from being able to move forward. You've got the Tower Reverse Scorpio energy and the Nine of Pentacles. A lot of you, there might have even been this fear of... Um, of getting into a relationship or higher level commitment. For some of you, I'm also seeing uh, positive money situations come in for you. All right, more money, more stability. Some of you guys have been afraid to get into a relationship because of a previous disaster that happened for you. You've got the four of wands here. And the nine of pentacles. There could be like a job offer coming up for you, an opportunity to make more money. Some of you are walking away from one job into another one. I'm also seeing um, if you, like I said, if you've been single, there's a potential relationship in the near future. Okay. You have the world. You're letting go. Finally, there's something here about you releasing, you letting go of something in your life. All right, it's it's ending. It may have even been like a missed opportunity or that's what it felt like, okay? And you have the sun, Leo energy. That's that happiness again. And the will of fortune being at the bottom of the deck. This is a part of your destiny. Letting this go, releasing the situation, letting it come to an end and walking away is significant for you, all right? What's the challenge? Your challenge is the Ace of Wands. So the challenge has a lot to do with taking action towards this new opportunity because I feel like a lot of you have been in this place of feeling alone or feeling the need to protect yourself, protect your energy. Um, you may even have felt bitter. All right. Let's see what the outcome is. The Eight of Swords. So this month, I feel like there's something about uh, you guys being stuck in your head, you know, I think that it's necessary for you to overcome this challenge with this new beginning to take the right action so that you can move forward. All right, let's clarify to see if we can get more um, answers about this more detail. Why are the eight of cups for Taurus? Justice in reverse. Somebody lied to you could even be a Libra. Or there's something here about a situation not being fair. It's been very stressful, I feel like. You may even felt like somebody walked away from you, abandoned you. For some of you, maybe you had to uh, make a decision to walk away from something that was unfair to you. And it was a lot of pressure that you were under, okay? You have the Five of Cups. I feel like you guys have been holding yourself back because there's been this sadness here. You haven't been seeing things clearly. There's a choice you've got to make. You know, it's that energy, like shit or get off the pot. You know, there's something about you really needing, some of you have been going through this grieving process and that has been holding you hostage. And it's like, you got to take the, the mask off. You got to take the blindfold off so that you can see things clearly and make the right choice for yourself. You have the King of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Energy, and then you've got Piscean Energy with the High Priestess here. There's that need to trust your intuition. Some of you guys have been trying to avoid your feelings, your emotions, maybe even avoiding a water sign or someone with water in your chart or in their chart. But there is this, this need to stop avoiding, you know, face, face the situation, face your emotions. Why the Four of Wands, the Knight of Swords, and the Queen of Pentacles? There could be a new commitment that comes in very quickly for you, an opportunity for some sort of commitment. This could be a commitment to a person, a commitment to a job. I feel like it does bring about stability for you. It may even be something that um, allows you to celebrate. Let me get some more information on this Four of Wands energy. Five of Pentacles. Those of you who have been struggling financially, you felt financially drained. I think there's an opportunity here for change for the better. And this is a part of your destiny. Those of you who have felt alone, there's going to be an opportunity that comes in. It may come in very quickly and maybe unexpectedly, but I think it's something that you've got to be willing to take the chance on. Why the world? 
the page of pentacles in reverse a lot of you are letting go of something you know that may have been unstable you have to make this decision to release it though you know some of you there is somebody you're choosing not to speak to possibly because of the instability within the situation why the sun the two of swords and the two of wands this is a this has a lot to do with letting go of the past. There's something you've been holding on to. You haven't seen things clearly, all right? You have this huge opportunity to be happy. Some of you, it has to do with the Leo, maybe. Um, I'm also getting water signs very strongly, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But what I'm really getting in this situation, um, maybe another Earth sign too, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. But... What I'm really getting here is like, take the blindfold off, make this choice. You can't hold on to the past and hold space for the future. So uh, you have to let go and be willing to release so that you can be happy in the present moment so that things can grow. All right. Why is the Ace of Wands the challenge for, I keep wanting to call you Sagittarius, for Taurus, the Three of Swords? Wow, the Ten of Swords. And the Ten of Cups in reverse with the Moon in reverse. Some of you, the challenge has a lot to do with getting over some hurt, heartbreak, disappointment in the past where you felt stabbed in the back, right? Maybe somebody cheated on you with that Ace of Wands energy. But you have an opportunity for a new beginning. You know, something didn't work out for you from the past and that's okay it doesn't have to dictate your future all right it's time to learn from this situation and move on some of you are getting the truth about this um, or you're gaining clarity about this situation and you have this opportunity to move forward but it's like you're really in your head about it and it, there's this need to take that take that chance all right, yeah, things happen that were unfair for you, and, but you can't let it keep you boxed in. Some of you, this affects your family life, all right? You have the sun in reverse. A lot of you have been stuck in your head and you haven't been happy, okay? The king of wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and the ace of pentacles. At the bottom of the deck, you've got the ace of cups. I see an opportunity for love and money here, all right? new beginnings for sure um but it requires you to take action it requires you to stop you know replaying over and over in your head the events that happen you know it requires you like you're not happy in your head it's not a good place to be but you have these opportunities being presented to you and it's it requires you to put forth the effort okay I feel like some of you guys have been in this negative thinking process and it's like, no, nah, now it's time. It's time to move on from that negative, you know, that negative energy. Let that go. Okay. Let that go and move forward. And as you do that, things really do lighten up. Things really do change for you. Okay. Let's see what other messages spirit has for you. What other important messages do you have for Taurus? So Taurus, you have, um, the card of the butterfly that came out in reverse. So there is a relationship that is not growing. Uh, there's a breakup, a separation here. Somebody may even have be given the other person the silent treatment. Someone feels abandoned here. I feel like this is a time for you to focus on yourself. Some of you feel like this person was selfish. Okay. I'm also seeing you maybe wait for some sort of message or email or some... You may have been waiting for this person to reach out or to take accountability. I'm also seeing for some of you that this is a time for you to focus on you to heal. Okay. It's time to create clear boundaries. In order to, to bring about love into your life, the type of love you want, a new love option, opportunity here. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like you guys are going to be finding out some things in your life, some truths, okay? And it may have to do with a partnership or some sort of commitment. I feel like there's 
someone coming into your life that could also bring about healing for you. Yeah, you're going to need to welcome some new love opportunities here. Okay, but you may have more than one option. So be aware of that. Like, you may have more than one option when it comes to where you want to be and what you want to do. Yeah, there's love coming in. All right. And I feel like for those of you who have this love coming towards you, okay, I feel like this is somebody with really good intentions. Um, this is somebody with really good intentions, okay? Somebody that may even be helpful in your healing process or on your healing journey. For those of you who are already with someone, this could be a situation where, you know, maybe this is a new friend or something that comes into your life that may be helpful in your healing process or on your journey. Let's see what else you need to know. What other messages do you have for the sign of Taurus? So Taurus, you have the card of expectation. I see you guys waiting on something. Some of you could even be pregnant. Look at that. Some of you are waiting on money or waiting on a uh, on a change in in your luck, you know. I see you guys either giving a title, getting a new title. This could be within a family dynamic. Okay. And you have toil and labor, so I feel like there's something that has created a little bit of stress, a decision that was made or some decisions that were made in the past that have created a lot of stress for you. I think you're doing a lot of thinking about finances and what you want in your life, okay? Some of you, there is, I'm telling you, there's going to be some unexpected changes in your luck for the better. You have false person. Okay. For some of you, you may have somebody coming back around into your life that, you know, maybe this person has changed or that's the way that they are coming across. Let's clarify a lot of you are worried about being stuck. You're kind of just in this waiting place, not really taking the necessary action you need. There's definitely an ending here. Some of you, I don't know, you could have court matters that you've been dealing with that are coming to an end. I feel like there's a blessing coming towards you maybe some type of information or communication this could be a letter a phone call a text message from someone either offering you a a title or some sort of position this could even come from an official person or somebody with like a I don't know a judge a lawyer something of that nature I do feel like some of you guys are under a lot of stress, feeling financially drained, having to make some financial sacrifices here. I feel like there's a lot of thinking about an older man. This could even be an older man thinking of you. Some of you, this is a father, maybe your own father. Maybe this is you doing a lot of thinking worried about money, worried about your career. There could be a, I don't know if this is you as this mature woman. Something is meant to mature you. Some of you, this is an older woman in your life that has been, I don't know, not someone that you trust. But I feel like you actually get a blessing from something that doesn't feel like a blessing. Tell me more about this mature woman. Some of you, huh, I feel like there's some concern over a child or childhood issues. Maybe even a, this could be your own parents for some. Tell me about poverty. So that's definitely you guys, I feel like. Some of you, you may be spending a lot of money in court. 
feeling stuck, feeling like the odds are against you. But I promise you, like, you get through this. This is not the end all be all. It feels like a lot of stress right now, but it's not forever. All right. Let's go ahead and see what song may be significant for you guys for the month of um, June. Refill by L. Varner. Some of you, uh, you could be drinking a lot, indulging, kind of sad, okay, over a situation. Listen to the lyrics of this song. This may be significant to your situation for the month of June, all right? Let's see what advice Spirit has for you. What advice do you have for the sign of Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Don't let someone get comfortable with disrespecting you. So stand your ground, okay? And continue to be productive. Go after your goals and go after what you truly want. Spirit is telling you you are not alone. This is a part, whatever you're going through is a part of your journey. The universe does have your back. But you're battling between what you know and what you feel. All right, so this could be your logic and emotions at war with one another. But look at that. You will recover. Recovery is on the horizon for you. But there's this need to be honest with yourself or honest with someone else. For some of you, this is somebody that, you know, you could end up recovering after the truth is revealed. Okay, that is what I have for you, Taurus. I do hope this was helpful. If it was, please be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit that notification bell so you're notified when I go live and when I post new videos. I love you guys and I wish you all the best. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.